Good day, everyone, and welcome to today's class. For today, we'll be looking into division of circle into 12 equal halves using a compass, and also we'll be looking into the construction of polygon. That is, uh, actually, we are going to look into the construction of an hexagon, then a pentagon. Yeah, an hexagon, then a pentagon. So, for the hexagon, we'll be making use of the circular method, while for the pentagon, I'm going to be teaching you how to make use of what? Of the triangular method and through the triangular method which i'm going to show you when drawing the pentagon you can draw any given polygon from that method all right okay so first of all how to divide a circle into 12 equal halves using a compass all right so let's as if we are given a circle of uh radius 20 or 30 mm. okay let's say circle of radius 30 mm circle of radius 30 mm all right so I'm going to draw a circle of radius 30 and what am I going to do? I'm going to place uh, my T square in that screen. So on the drawing board first of all, I'm going to draw a plane horizontal line first, right? A plane horizontal line just as just like this. So after drawing that plane horizontal line, I'm going to pick out a main point here as my point O, alright? So doing that, I'm going to pick my compass. I'm going to pick my compass, circle of radius 30. So this is my ruler here. This is my ruler here. I place it at zero to what to be. That's the radio state, right? So after radio state, I'm going to place the tip of my compass on that point which I had earlier on. That point O then I'm going to get I'm going to draw my circle. Right? I'm going to draw my circle. I'm going to draw my circle. Yeah. So after drawing that circle, after drawing this circle, the next one. Procedure. The next thing to do is this. Look up, everyone. Look up, everyone. The next thing to do is this. You can decide to what divide. Initially, this circle is already divided into what into two equal parts. Yes or no? So, attempt to divide this circle into four equal halves first. So, how do I divide this circle into four equal halves? I can do that with uh, the bisection method, or what? Or make use of my what? My t square in conjunction with my what? In conjunction with my set square. Yeah, my t square in conjunction with my set square. So that is what I am going to actually utilize. Right? So let's take a look at this. Take a look at this. So this is my t square and my set square. So it's perpendicular to the line. I'm going to what? I'm going to draw. Alright. I'm going to draw. So I'm going to carry. So um, yeah, I've divided this circle now. Into four equal halves. I'll divide this circle into four equal halves. So, how do I divide this circle into 12 equal halves? Now, the next procedure is this pick your compass with the same radius which you used to draw the circle, all right? So, I'm having how many cardinal points now? I'm having four cardinal points one, two, three, and four, all right? So, I'm going to denote this portion with A, this portion with what B, this portion with what C, and the bottom as what as D. Right, so after doing that, I'm going to place my compass with that same radio state. Take a look at it. You can see it is still what gets that same radio state if you choose to draw the circle. Pick your compass and place it on each of the four cardinal points. Then you strike towards the left and right. So you just see, I'm going to start with point A now. I strike towards the top and what? Towards the bottom. Yes or no? Then I go to a point B. Yeah, and point B with that same radius, I strike towards it with that state here, right? So on point B also, I'm going to do the same thing. You see, towards the bottom and towards the top, all right? So going to point C now, in the same way, towards the left and right, all right? Then on point D, on point B, towards and towards, all right? So what I've done just now, I've divided this circle into, into 12 equal halves. So the next thing for me to do is just, just pick either my ruler or any of my set square angles and join the corresponding lines together. All right. So just take a look at what I'm going to do right now. You can see. So that for that. All right. So for this area. That's it over there, all right? So for the next area, which is here to here. Then for this area also. All right, 
So I can also denote it. I'm going to say this is my zero at a clock price one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is my what? Zero value. So I have divided this circle into what? Into twelve equal parts. All right. So that is that about that. All right. So how do I construct an hexagon using a circular method? How do I construct an hexagon? So if the person says construct an hexagon on a circle of diameter sixty mm, procedure here is to what? The very first. Thing, right? So I'm going to produce my what? My original line. Yeah. To produce the original line. Okay. After producing my original line, I'm going to take my points zero, my point two. All right. My point two. That the next procedure is I'm going to pick my compass. This is my compass, all right? So diameter 60 that's going to be most radius, radius 80, all right? This is it here. You can see radius 80. Having radius 80, I'm going to place it at work at center, and I'm going to work. I'm going to drop my center. Now you see. So after drawing the circle, the next procedure is this. You denote this area with point what? Point A and this other side with what? With point B. Alright? So after doing that, this is the next procedure. So you just pick your compass. After picking your compass with that same radius which you used to draw the circle, you place the compass at point A. You place it at point A. You strike an arc towards the top and towards the bottom. Then you do the same thing at what? At point B. Look at it on the here, towards the top and towards the bottom. Towards the bottom. So what's the next thing to do? The next thing is as simple as this. Just pick your ruler and what and join the corresponding intersections together, just like this. Okay. Can you see? So for the third axis, which is here. Can you see? So at the bottom part, which is here. All right. So for this area, which is here. Then on this area, which is here. All right. So as it is now, this is what an hexagon. It is having how many sides? It is having six sides. All right. So that is that about that. So now, if you have a question that says, I am to produce a pentagon. Pentagon of side 30 millimeters. Yeah, a pentagon of side 30 millimeters. So I am going to make use of the triangular method here. Yeah. So take note of this. This particular method I'm going to use for this pentagon, you can use it to construct any given polygon. Yeah, you can use it to construct any given polygon. All right. So the very first thing which you need to do is what? Draw your horizontal line. Yeah. Just what I'm doing here. All right. You draw your horizontal line. After drawing your horizontal line, pick a point here. Name it as your point A. Alright, so from there you pick your compass, pentagon of side 30, you measure 30, alright, so this is my 30, from point A I strike, alright, so that's what point B, alright, so AB is what now, it's 30, it's 30 mm, alright, so that is that divided. So from there, the next thing is what, I am going to bisect point AB, I am going to bisect point AB, so just follow. All right. I'm going to join it at the middle here, all right? I'm going to join it at the middle. 
All right. All right. So after by setting point A, B, the next thing is this. On point A, I am going to construct angle 45 degree. While on point B, I am going to construct angle 60 degree. All right. So you can actually uh, interchange it. You understand? When doing it, you can interchange. You can put angle 60 degree on point A and 45 degree on point B. Any which way. All you need to do is just that construct an angle of 45 degree and 60 degree on uh, any of the side. All right. So let me construct angle 60 degree on point B first. Yeah, 60 degree. This is my set square. I am construct on point B. Yeah. So this is. Yeah. Okay. So the angle is going to be 60 degree. That will point B. And you can see this 60 degree touches it. Which is the bad star line here at this point, right? So I name this point point what? Point six. Yeah, I know it's what it's point six. All right. So I'm going to create angle one five degree on point A now. Angle one five degree on point A. So angle one five degree. Yeah. So this is my point five degree set square. This particular set square is known as what? It's known as thirty sixty degree set square. All right. So. On this question now, I'm going to name it point what? Point four. Point four, right? So, uh, since we are constructing a pentagon, and we are told that a pentagon is how many sides? It's having five sides. So, I have point four, I have point six. So, I need to get to point five. So, if I am drawing a polygon of both of five sides, so how do I get to point five? I'm going to bisect the distance between point four and point six. Yeah. I'm going to bisect the distance between point four and point six. And that's what I'm going to do just now, all right? So just uh, look up and follow me. So look up. So I'm going to place it on point four. Stride, stride, then on point six. So I'm going to also stride and what? And stride, all right? So that being said and done, I'm going to join the bisectors. Yeah. To ensure you give. Uh, Need to space for error. Yeah, I need to imagine it for error, right? So that's it. So this midpoint here now is my what? Yeah, this point here is my point what? Point five. Yeah, this point here is my what? Is my point five. Is my point five. All right. So I now place my compass. Yeah. So look up now. Look up. So I'm going to place my compass now. The pin on point five. Are you seeing it again? Extend. The pencil to either point A or B. Yeah. So then I'm going to go to draw a circle with that. I'm going to draw a circle with that. I'm going to draw a circle with that. Alright. So I've drawn the circle now. So after drawing the circle, the next thing is what? Place the compass, keep the distance between A and B. After keeping the distance between A and B. So you place the compass on point A, you strike that. Are you see? So you place on point B, the last thing that is strike and arc. So I'm placing it here, you see, and striking it and there, you can see it's five square in the center. So with that, I have my what? I have my uh, center. Yeah, I have it. So the next thing is split the middle and what? And join uh, the edges together. Join the edges together. As you can see. So then I'm going to take in my day. Okay, so that is look up. So I'm having my pen card now. So each of the side beam got is 18. So if you are to construct uh, an heptagon, an heptagon, heptagon is seven sided. So what are you going to do? All you are going to do is just uh if your compass, right? If you are constructing an heptagon, pick your compass, pick the distance between either four and five or five or six. Pick the distance between four and five or five or six and step it off. Yeah. So from four to five, five to six is the same. So I'm picking four to five. So they are going to pick for six. I'm going to step it off. That's my same thing, alright? So step it off from seven, that's my what eight. Step it off from eight, that's my what that's my nine. So with this method, you can construct a pen, a polygon of any given side, alright? 
or any human side. So this is what seven, this is what eight, this is what nine. So if you are constructing a non agon which is nine side, all you are going to do is what? Carry a compass, place it at point nine, you understand? Extend it to here point A or B here, you understand? Then what? You draw yourself, you draw yourself. After drawing yourself, pick A, B, and what? And step it off. That is just it. All right, so ensure you kindly subscribe and